several months, we've seen recalls of tons of ground turkey, pre-cut melons sold at local grocery stores, and thousands of pounds of chicken strips that might have metal pieces inside them. Food recalls are being reported at an alarming rate, leaving many of us in the dark when it comes to grocery shopping. Wake Up Wisconsin anchor Rebecca Ribley is looking into why we're hearing about recalls more often and what we can do to keep our family safe. When you're the mom of growing boys, it's almost done. Food is always top of mind. The kids love chicken, strawberries, raspberries, we always have on hand. So when a food recall is issued, Butterball is recalling 39 tons of ground turkey. The first thing I think is I need to check our freezer and see if there's anything in there. And recently that's become the norm. It's just kind of surprising sometimes just how often it happens. Since 2013, overall recalls have gone up by 10%. But it's when we take a closer look at those hazardous meat and poultry recalls that could be cause for concern. Those have gone up by more than 80%. We react immediately to any recall. The first place to learn about the recalls? Your grocery store. We get the sheets like this. Managers at Metcalf's in Madison make sure the products are pulled from shelves and customers know about the problem before they hit the checkout line. So it's, uh, it's really a full court press to make sure that we're taking care of our customers. Usually the issue starts well before you put the food in your cart. <laughs> During the production process. While most foods are inspected by the FDA or the USDA, there are problems that surface after the fact. That's a visual inspection, so, you know, they can't see bacteria, so that um, is a bit of a challenge. Ron Keen is an agriculture expert at UW-Madison. He says there are some simple things we can do to keep our families safe. Don't cross-contaminate in your refrigerator or on cutting boards. Washing your hands is always good, um, soap and water. It seems like simple things, but really you just have to commit to doing those all the time. Keen doesn't think there are more food safety issues than in past years. Instead, he thinks we're hearing about them more due to an updated reporting process. Better networking and health records, they're able to connect dots better. Another thing to keep in mind, not all recalls impact your health. Back at Metcalf's, Kevin says there are a number of reasons they have to act. The quality side of it, or it's not meeting their specs, sometimes we get some of those that are just pulled because they don't want that particular cookie to look, you know, oval or something to that effect. Mmm, chicken. But when it comes to your little ones, a recall, no matter how insignificant, is hard to ignore. As mommies, oh, he's so snuggly. Um, you know, we want to make sure that they're not only eating healthy, but you want to make sure that you're really sourcing it from a place you trust. Now smile at your chicken. <laughs> In Dane County, Rebecca Rively, 27 News. From crackers to chicken nuggets, there are several trusted resources you can use to check the latest food recalls. We have that list over on our website, WKOW.com.